Hi, I'm Diego Alonso from DiegoAlonsoGuitar.com and today we're going to talk about a very cool flamenco technique called the alzapua. Alzapua is a very percussive technique that involves the thumb where you play both downward and upward on the same string or on multiple strings. I'll do a quick demo at the beginning and then as always I'll do a close-up to break the technique down for you. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the alzapua. Alzapua is a thumb movement that's very unique to flamenco and it involves an upward and downward movement of the thumb against the string. So you're actually playing the string upward and downward. Okay, okay so this is essentially an alzapua on a single string. tricks to this. First, if you remember back to the second video that we did, we talked about the thumb. It involved a forearm rotation and thumb movement. So this is the same thing, except now we're, we're actually hitting the string on the way up. All right? There are lots of different alzapuas. Alza means to lift and pua is a pick, so we're turning our thumb into a pick essentially. So lots of different ways to do it. So I'm just going to show you one uh, in this particular video. So that one includes the thumb. We're going to put that on the, on the fifth string for now on our A string. We're gonna put I and M, index of metal, on the first string, okay? Remember the triangle of space? We wanna observe that, make sure that there's a triangle of space between the index, tip of the index and the thumb, so make sure the fingers are slightly to the right. And we're gonna drop the hand, just like the thumb video that, that I made earlier. You drop the hand a little bit, so that when you go down, your thumb is sliding off the string instead of fighting against it, so just slide down. And then you want to lift the thumb up, okay? Now, if you notice really carefully, look really carefully, my forearm is turning. It's not this. It's not just the thumb. It's the forearm and the thumb. That's what's going to give me my power and my speed. If I just do the thumb by itself, that's it. That's as far as, as fast as I can go, personally getting tense if I include the form. Okay, you get a much faster movement. So that's a pull involves a few different things. So it's that's a single string also, but you can practice on your sixth string. techniques as you get more comfortable with that you can go a little bit faster etc okay so the second thing we want to do for the as is add in some chords now this is what you hear this is in the, in the demo that I did there were lots of chords there's a lot of stuff going on in the left hand but we're just gonna isolate the right hand for now so one of the other poses that, that, that the main one that I did uh, just now in the demo is thumb so thumb and form a single string and then a chord, so it could be, you could do a dyad, so two strings, or you could do three or more, which would be a chord. Okay, so down and then up with the thumb. It's going to be chord again, so it's note, chord, chord, note, chord, chord. Notice the full form rotation. I'm going to do it muted so you can see. Note, form rotation. More forearm rotation to get the thumb down through all the strings. Forearm rotation up and thumb up. And I stop my hand with my I and M fingers. Okay. This is just one of many. Some people don't like to do this. There's another support where you don't you don't hit the uh, you don't land on the first string if you want the first string to ring out. In this case, I don't. I'm gonna mute them. Okay. So chord. Sorry. No chord. Chord. No chord. Chord. You can 
practice this on all your strings here. You just always have your fingers on the first string for this particular kind again. So you can do six string. The what I'm aiming for when I do the chord are just the three strings below my single note string. So six string and then five, four, and three. You can aim for two, three, and all the way, all the strings on the way up. Right? You can also isolate it. Make them a bit smaller, right? For now, make it big, make a big movement so you can practice a rotation. You can do the next string and so forth. Okay? The last element that I uh, included in the demo, this, right, were all of these pull ups. Okay? So I'm including pull offs and hammer ons with the alzapoa. We're going to isolate it, just make it super simple, single string. So we've got, uh, we're gonna put it on E, so that's fourth string, second fret, right? Note, chord, chord, note, hammer on with the third finger to your F sharp. Note, pull off, your first finger remains down, chord, chord, sorry. information on in-person lessons in Chicago, Illinois, or online lessons, visit me at diawalonsoguitar.com or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash diawalonsoguitar. Thanks.